spent 30 in the mall. Going local with the cake. Five cars sitting tall. Going local with the cake. Ten on some Kelly Bud. Going local with the cake. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 Math Boy again. Um, another Final Cut Express tutorial for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the muzzle flash effect, which is where when you have a, a fake gun and you pull the trigger and you do the fake like you're getting a uh, recoil, you want um, a flash to come out to make it look like some sort of uh, bullet came out of your gun. And um, here's the clip that I have. If you guys saw my previous tutorial, I did the freeze frame effect. So here's the video where I do my freeze frame and then I fire the gun. And boom, right there, I want to have flames come out of my gun to make it look like it fired. So what you're going to do is you're going to download... Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick. You're going to download a clip from the internet that um, has stock film, which is something like this. This is the only one I could find, and it has really retarded audio, so just bear with me. Hold up. Oh, sorry. Here's what I was talking about. It's a black screen that has uh, a couple different gunshots, and you're going to want to pick the part of it that you want. I'll show you the YouTube video that I downloaded this from. And fast, supersonic like JJ Fatten. We rock the wheels of fly. Can't be that with a baseball bat. That, this is the one I'm going to use. That's the one I'm going to use. So it has fire and then um, some sparks to make it look like a bullet came out. So when I fire this off, I want the sparks and bullets to come out right there as this part is come as I'm pulling the trigger and it fires. <coughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to set the in and out point, which is where you uh, find the beginning of the clip and press I, and then end of the clip and press O to get the in and out point. And once you have that in your video, that clip that you already have of you shooting a fake gun, you're going to drag this into the uh, canvas and click superimpose so that this part of the clip shows up on top. Now I'm going to sequence render all. Now I hope this is the part of the clip I wanted. Okay, that was a little too much. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so that's where I want to. So now I'm going to click B to get the blade tool. Cut this. Now with uh, A to get this. Click it. Delete that. So now I just have the part that I want. Let me render this all. So there you guys have it. Now I also want to get rid of this video too. So all you have to do, er, this audio, sorry. So you're going to lock the part of the video that you want to save. Make sure the audio is selected. Click delete. And then you still have your video, but you, you got rid of the audio. So there's what I want. Now I'm going to try to move this into place. Where do I want this? So right there. That's where I want this gun to go off. Actually, I have to do something else first. Sorry. So what you're going to do to get... See how it's black right here, but you can still see that my gun is like behind it because it's superimposed. To get rid of the black, what you want to do is you select this, go to Modify, Composite Mode, then click on Screen. And it gets rid of the black, but it still has the muzzle flash. So I'm going to just have to render this on, and then you're also going to have to rotate it because the flash is going to the right, but my gun is pointing to the left, or my left at least. So here, there, we have our muzzle flash, but now we just need to put it where it is. So let me get my clip to where the gun goes off, put my playhead there, now drag this into place, let me see where we're at. Okay, so that's about right. I can fix it. I can always fix it. So right here, I'm going to pause that. I'm going to make this a little smaller. And now once you hold it in the right way, I'll give you a rotate option. You're just going to rotate it uh, 180 degrees <coughs> and move it to about where you think the gun is going to go off. Now let me just backtrack a little bit. There's my gun. And right, he sorry, right here... Oh. Right here is where I pull the trigger. So that's where I want my muzzle flash to be. Let's check this out. It's a little late. 
So as you guys see, I pulled the trigger, but the muzzle flash is late. So now I'm going to back this up a little bit more. Such a pain having to render it. Uh, there, that was about right. Maybe a little farther back. And then I can reposition it. So I'm going to need to move it farther back and a little bit up. Let's render it one more time, see how we are doing. Still. Ah. Actually, now we're a little far ahead. Okay, that looked good. Hopefully this is it, you guys. There, as you guys saw, that was the muzzle flash effect. So now if I start from the beginning with my freeze frame and the muzzle flash. <coughs> there you guys have it. That probably wasn't the best muzzle flash uh, stock clip I could have used. There's probably a better one. But um, this video I'm going to be showing you guys the link to. You can download it with uh, GetTube, which is an application I've shown you guys in one of my other videos on how to get for free. Uh, that probably wasn't the best clip, but there's lots of other ones. You can also do explosions, uh, have smoke in the background, tons of different good stuff. Uh, this is Bobby93 of MacBoy, another Final Cut Express tutorial. Lots more coming. If you guys like my videos, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.